Agriculture forms an integral part in the Kenyan society with large tracts of land suitable for crop and animal farming. It is the desire of every nation to feed its population, but for Kenya, the demand for food outbursts the production. Uh, first of all, I want to say as a government of Bungoma, uh, it has put a lot of emphasis on agriculture. Uh, that's why you see it receives the second funding uh, after, after health. Uh, because you, as you know, if people are eating healthy, they will even get, uh, they, they will not be sick. And, and that means we'll have a very healthy county. Agriculture has established and encouraged value addition processes in both crop and animal production and its adoption is yielding fruit through higher yields. Optimal use of the available space has led to farmers with small parcels of land producing enough for their domestic use and still have surplus for the market. In poultry farming, changing agricultural trends have enabled farmers to manage their birds more effectively and efficiently, thereby maximizing on profits. Indigenous poultry production has faced a lot of challenges arising from rampant diseases, which at times destroy whole flocks when they strike in different parts of the country, leading to great losses. This forces the farmers to start afresh. The most affected breeders are in the small-scale category as the existing conventional disease control programs favor the high investment intensive systems of production with over 100 birds in confinement. Modern agricultural traits have now empowered the small-scale farmers with knowledge on how to determine early signs of diseases and how to manage them. Kwanza mayai inaweza kuwa na shida kama ukufanya proper selection inakuwa na shida. Mengine hayakuwa fertilized or even poor handling waki handle vibaya hawajai stock mzuri ama umeweka ile ime overstay. Sasa rais ukue na 100% hatching na pia saa zingine hii mashini huwa na shida inaweza laptop hata temperature inaweza kushoot ama humidity uchaitengeneza kama karibu na hatch pia ina affect the hatching hii mashini yenyewe na it's automatic turn it's not manual lakini on the 17th day kwenda 18th day kuna hii hatching tray kuna nafasi yake hapa ambapo tunaweka alafu tunateremsha hiyo mayai yote kwa hiyo hatching tray na inaendelea kuhatch ukiwa na nafasi ya kuklini hapo ndani unaweza kuweka tu mayai yingine iendelee ama unangojea hiyo hizo vifaranga stoke utoe uweke kwa pruda alafu unaweka mayai yingine ukienda kwa farm ya mtu ambaye yeye kasi yake ni kutoa mayai unaangalia hata kwanza tu wale layers wanataka mayai tena utaona choko ratio yake alafu ukija na ukija nayo tena unamuona unamuuliza hii mayai ilikuwa late when because mayai ile inahajiwa inatakikana ichukue 
the first week, one to the seventh week, or second to the seventh week. This was in Hachiwa, Missouri. But after the eighth day, when I do, this was in Hachiwa, Missouri. We have given out hatcheries to cooperative societies, which we have already organized, so that they are able to, uh, to produce chicken. And we have gone further and encouraged them to produce uh, improved Kenyaji chicken, which grows faster and matures faster. And uh, we have even gone further and uh, looked at the marketing bit, this uh, poultry factory here. Uh, which uh, has been installed. Uh, it has been tested uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's operational, it's working. <clears throat> and we want to encourage people who can invest in poultry to come on board so that they can take up the factory and run it on behalf of the people of this county. We have already organized some farmers into into cooperative societies and we have given them hatcheries. So we expect that uh, in terms of uh, production, we will have enough chicken uh, for this factory. And remember, uh, this factory uh, is not only for this county because it has the capacity to serve even the neighboring counties and even beyond uh, because it has the capacity to produce, uh, to slaughter 5,000 chicken every day. So if you have 5,000 chicken every day, if you do the multiplication, you can see how much chicken is needed and you can see the impact it's going to have on the farmers of, 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 of this region. Dairy production is a major activity in the livestock sector and an important source of livelihood for both large and small-scale farmers. Omulamu. Many farmers venture into this business to maximize profits. Although small-scale dairy producers contribute competitively on milk sales, the production per animal on these farms remain relatively low. I have approximately, this cows eat approximately about six bags of the crushed uh, grass. I have two acres under Napier grass and uh, half an acre you know, boma rots. Um, there are a number of programs we are running here. Uh, we are calling them value chains. Uh, we have the tomato value chain, uh, which we are promoting here. And we are beginning all the way from production um, and, and going all the way to marketing. We are also doing the, 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 the dairy value chain, where we are supporting our farmers in all ways by capacity building them, organizing them in cooperative society, and uh, also supporting them with the good dairy breeds uh, to just in scale up the production of milk. We are also doing um, the poultry value chain, which uh, I want to, to, to emphasize because it's very important. And as you know, this county is known as a chicken county because uh, actually chicken is, uh, is, uh, is a stable food here and it is known for a very sweet chicken and that is what we are promoting. Na tangu ni join hii cooperative nimepokea nimekuwa na usaidizi kibinafsi kwa sababu ya yale ambayo nimeweza kupata kutokana na mauzo ya kuku nimeweza kujenga nyumba nimeweza kununua plot kwa saa hii angalau na jumudu kimaisha isipokuwa challenges za kikosi usafiri ni balaa kulikuwa na maskari ambao walikuwa na wanatushika hasa katika usafiri wetu wa, wa, wa kuku wakati tunaweka kuku zetu ndani ya gari kwamba tusafirisha tulete baada ya kununua sokoni wanasema ya kwamba kuku pamoja na binadamu hawastahili kukaa pamoja. Sasa ikawa challenge kubwa wakati tunatumia mapikipiki wanakuja wanasema ya kwamba tumebeba vibaya. Sasa tukawa na hiyo shida nyingi na hiyo ikafika kiwango kwamba tukaanza kurofia na pamoja na maaskari. Challenges zenye tuko nazo kuna vitu zinaendelea kuhusu kuku. Na sisi kama wana cooperative wa Bungoma hatuna habari yoyote. 
kuna semina ziliitwa kule ni mabanga tukaambiwa tutaenda tungoje barua hatukuona paka wa leo haya soko yenyewe ni shida siku hizi wakati ile ilikuwa ukileta kuku kama hauko kwa cooperative unashikwa lazima ulete kuku tuuzie sisi ndio sisi tu supply lakini siku hizi hakuna watu wana supply kwa mahoteli sasa sisi kama cooperative hapa ndani ya soko sisi hatuna market the dairy sector we brought in what we call a, a new technology called e-dairy e-dairy was looking at the, the the digital way of 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 weighing milk and then linked it to the other systems within the, 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 the cooperative, linked it to the agrovet, and then yeah, linked it to finance, linked it to the, the personnel, and then when the farmers deliver their milk, for example, that milk is weighed up to 0, 0.0. So that now we eliminated the, the, the nanny, the ghost farmers in the cooperative societies. So the farmer can also get a payslip, which he can also post out there like any other teacher or any other employee. And then, of course, it has led to increased number of increased number of farmers registered in cooperative societies, increased deliveries, and then we have linked them to the bigger companies like Brookside, like KCC, who collect their milk, which could otherwise have been gone wrong. And then we have also linked them to financial institutions who can give them loans, like Platinum, and they have also linked the, now easily linked to AFC, given that they are, they are having they are able to acquire loans, and that loan can be paid through check of system. Unreliable markets and limited access to veterinary and artificial insemination, or AI services, are factors that negatively impact on the productivity and performance of the dairy subsector in the county. Fortunately, farmers have devised methods to overcome these challenges. For diseases, um, ever, I'm always spraying them weekly. I'm normally in touch with the veterinary people here, and uh, even some of the private private people, those who can do AI or whatever. I normally call them for just to see what is happening. So actually, well, sometimes uh, I discover when they they make that pinch of noise. Yeah? They cry as if they need some food, but when you come and check, you find everything is there. And uh, also, uh, as they are two, if they are two, you find one the, uh, climbing on the other. Hmm? With the emergence of greenhouses, tomato farming has greatly improved in most parts of the country. Though there are still challenges in transporting the harvested crop to the market, Farmers have organized themselves into groups to ensure that the production and marketing of the commodity does not affect its production cycle. Furthermore, agricultural extension officers have been assigned the task of training farmers on both production and marketing strategies. Wakati sub county government ya Bungoma ilipoanza mradi wa kununulia wa kulima greenhouses tulipendekeza kikundi hiki na kwa bahati mzuri wakafanikiwa wakanenunuliwa greenhouse hii ambayo ni greenhouse ya mita nane kwa mita 18 tulianza upanzi wa nyanya baada ya kutembelea kikundi hiki na kuwafundisha kwanza kabisa kutafuta soko tukafanya kile ambacho tunaita market survey tukawafunza ya kwamba kabla hujaanza kupanda chochote ni lazima uanze kwa kutafuta soko Tulianza mwaka huu mwezi wa tatu wakaweka kwa nasari na mwezi wa tano pia wakaweka kwa nasari na hizi ambazo ziko katika greenhouse size waliweka mwezi wa tano na wameendelea kupanda nyanya hii na kuitunza lakini wamekuwa wakipata changamoto mbalimbali jambo la kwanza mbali na wasumbua ni ukosefu wa maji mahali ambapo wanatoa maji ni katika shimo na shimo hili liko karibu nusu kilomita kutoka mahali ambapo greenhouse iko na hivyo huwa wanapata wakati mgumu kuchota maji kwa kisima wabebe ndipo waalete katika mahali tukwa na greenhouse kama soko wakati tunapanda kama so hakuna nyanya tunapata vizuri kama tunapanda kama tumechelewa tunapata chini sasa shita tu machi ndiyo na watu wanafifia vile tumekuwa huko mtu kupepa anachoka kesha akuche kesha akuchi kuchoka tu 
ndio lakini tunaeleza tu tunachikasa tunapata kitu kidogo tunasomesha yako watoto wetu wakikusaidia yako tu generator ya kupika maji sisi tunakuwa tu vizuri as a county we held our investment conference recently and we have told the world that um, uh, this county is very conducive for investment we want to encourage and, and we want to encourage everybody who has some money to invest to come to this county because we even support if you want the land you have the money we'll give you space where you can run your businesses so that uh, we create opportunities for the young people and we also create uh, i mean transfer technology because when people start working there they will be able to create technology uh, i mean uh, technology transfer to our people for the country to be self reliant in food production value addition methods of agriculture production must be adopted this ensures that there are maximum returns on minimal inputs